One uh, summer night in 1970, Keith Whitley and myself went to uh, see Ralph Stanley. I'd had a flat on the camper. I was about an hour late of getting to the show. And so the owner of the club asked if me and Keith would get up and sing some. Well, uh, my dad would never let us go anywhere while we didn't take our instruments with us, just in case we might need to play somewhere. When I got to the place and went up to the door, I heard some music uh, inside uh, in the building there. And I thought they were playing Stanley Brother Records. Ralph come walking in. And I was, I was stunned because here was my hero, my, my teacher that I had learned from all these years. And it was Ricky Skaggs and Keith Whitley. And they was doing a fine job. And I, it really shocked me. And I just sat down and I, didn't, I couldn't hardly, didn't know what to do. You know, they sounded so much like uh, Stanley Brothers. It must have brought back a lot of memories of he and his brother Carter when they first started, when they were teenagers. They started working with me, and Ricky stayed with me, I guess, around three years. And then Keith Whitley stayed with me. He was my lead singer for around six or seven years. That started our relationship right there with, uh, with Ralph Stanley.